Night beginning to fall over Southern California, but the lights are shining bright here at the spectacular SoFi Stadium in Metropolitan Los Angeles. Tonight, we've got a great Sunday night matchup between the Houston Texans and the Los Angeles Chargers. The first two months of the regular season down. What will the final two bring us as we're off in week nine? This one fielded at the five. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. start on the ground here on first down and he'll fight forward on the straight ahead running for just a couple of yards second down the last run got a couple here second and eight this defense for the Texans they were terrific in the win over Tennessee a week ago and as in any game takeaways are always a big key they're always discussed on defense there's an emphasis there and they came away with three interceptions in that game. A second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. Well, sometimes the defense just beats you. Great coverage from the secondary. All of them in the proper position. So instead of trying to throw into tight coverage, he found a way to throw it away and come back and try again the next down. On third down, he'll drop to throw. And they're able to get this one across the 35. Give them 12 yards there, and the Chargers have a first down. First and 10 at the 37 yard line. From the gun, they'll try to run it. And a five yard gain gets him to the 42. The Chargers at four and three, a game over 500. And they've been playing their best football of the year. Winners of four in a row. And I thought that they played pretty well last week. Their execution, their discipline, their resilience, all on display in that victory. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. Oh, I saw this one with defensive eyes because even as he escaped the pocket and bought time, the coverage stayed tight. Nothing broke down. Throwing it away, that was his only option. They come up now third and five following the incomplete pass. They'll drop to throw. Got a man over the middle, and it's complete. And he's going to be taken down with another first down as the stop's made at the Texans' 39. The Chargers passing game rolling a bit here. They've got another first. So a first and 10 now in Houston territory at the 39-yard line. One back in the backfield. He'll get the carry. And not able to break away this time as they're going to stop him right around the line of scrimmage. A loss of two brings up second and 12. Here we go on second and 12. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back, complete. And he'll be brought down inside the 40 yard line. And they're getting him involved early. You feel like they saw something on tape, or they just have a sense with him because he's had a good week of practice or something in that area, that they want him involved, just as you said. Oh, into a sea of defenders and intercepted. And the Texans are going to take possession of the football as they force the turnover on the opening drive. Well, it's no secret he's had trouble this year with interceptions, and this is a bad start for him. First drive, throwing another pick. No matter who's broadcasting his game, that's how the conversation begins. Throwing too many interceptions, can he take care of the football? If I were his backup, I'd be edging towards the coaches and saying, hey, how about giving me an opportunity? Jet sweep as Prescott bats it forward. And he is going to lose yardage here. So the opening play of the drive goes backwards. Now they'll come up on second and 12. Prescott to throw it. 
And he'll let this one go deep for Chark. And that will be incomplete. Trying to dial up the long one way out there, but it'll be third down. And CD, you look at this defense, you know, what kind of pressure are they under trying to stop a team that has won five games in a row? Well, to me, it makes their job harder because you know you're going up against an offense that's playing at an elite level, and sometimes you can get too caught up in trying to play the perfect game. You're trying to be too precise, too fine, instead of just letting it rip. And I think that's more the priority than trying to be absolutely perfect. Yeah, get this complete to Calvin Austin. And he's taken down right at the 45-yard line. That one nearly 30 yards, 29 officially. After getting that turnover on the first drive of the game, you'd hate to just stall out the momentum, go three and out. They're able to avoid that there. Yeah, we talk about complimentary football all the time, but I think it's a little bit deeper than that. Defense went out, forced a turnover, gave the ball to the offense. It's now the offense's responsibility to pay that off for them, to show respect to them. Hey, you guys got us a turnover? <laughs> we appreciate it. They want to continue their drive. So from Charger territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 45-yard line. A shotgun snap and a give to ETN. And he's got this down a yard or two shy of the 40 before he's out of bounds. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. Charles, they won last week despite him not running the ball well. They told us need to get him going. Runs like that help. And they talked to us about leaning on him because, as you noted, last week they didn't have to. Still won the ball game. They leaned on other people to give him the yardage that they needed. And they really want him to be that guy. And that's what they're doing early in this game. A throw there, but that's going to wind up incomplete. We'll put a check mark in the box where the defense coordinator was saying, how well can we stay with these receivers if we're in man coverage? Because he just did it on that one, force the incompletion. That allowed me to get bolder with his pass rush, won't it? Absolutely. Freeze up your guys elsewhere. From the shotgun, it's Prescott. Open man, that's Noah Fant, the tight end. And he's brought to the ground with another first down at the Chargers' 25-yard line. Prescott now. And he will find the open man, it's DJ Moore. And he's brought down here just outside of the 20. And again, it's Prescott. will throw that one away. Not too many things get to a quarterback of this magnitude, but I think it's safe to say that pressure can get to any quarterback. Now he's obviously a great franchise quarterback, but felt the pressure, threw it incomplete. And they'll be in search of six yards here on third down. This is now the ninth play of the drive. Prescott from the gun. In a double coverage, and it's intercepted. And the Chargers are going to take possession here at their own three-yard line. So consecutive interceptions here early on in this one and maybe setting the tone, Charles, for a game where the defense really takes center stage. And don't you think that both offenses are really catching a bit from their coaching staff about avoiding these turnovers that we've seen early? I think both teams are trying to find an advantage. We know that. Can one of them break away and take control of this game? It won't be a sack, but it's no gain, and it brings up second down. But one of the things we talked about coming into this was we were never going to question a fight that he's going to have for all four quarters of a game. But ideally, you want him fighting for big plays and first downs early, not fighting just to get back to the line of scrimmage, as we saw right there. From deep in their own territory, they look to throw. And able to get it across the 10 to the 15. They needed some breathing room. He gave it to him. 11 yards and a first down. Hey, check that, check that. Street, street. Ready. They'll try and run this one right up the gut. Oh, he's got a little daylight. And he's free going down the left side. It's a foot race. Touchdown, Allen. A great play there with his sixth rushing touchdown on the year. And the Chargers use the early turnover to get on the board first here in this one. The extra point by Meadis is up and good. And that makes the score 7-0.
The kick unit on here for the Chargers as they will send this one away. From his end zone, here comes Patterson. And he had no room to run as he's tackled down inside the 20. The Texans offense ready to go here for their next drive. As the offense comes out here, Charles, remember they threw the interception last time out, but they were moving the football down the field. Looked like they were going to have a sustained drive that ended in points, but then the pick ensued. And because of that, there's no way you can call the last drive a success. Yes, there are things to build on because they've got some play calls at work. Now they've got to build another drive. And by the way, they'll build the turnover. on third down tonight. They've been okay. Two for three thus far. This is third and 11. Here's Prescott. Trying to fit it into Moore, but it's intercepted. Picked off by Quay Walker. And the Chargers are going to take possession of the football. That's now a second interception in as many weeks from his linebacker position. Think about all the different techniques he has to employ in a passing situation. Is he spot dropping because it's zone? Is he picking up man to man? Is he having to run with a running back or a tight end? In any event, great eyes, head on a swivel, and excellent hands. Yeah, versatility and showing those hands. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. Some of the most unselfish players on any football team, defensive tackles, because we ask them to just eat up blocks and allow other people to make tackles. But when he can make a play himself, as we just saw there, that's a big day. They'll look to throw for it on third and one. Yeah, he's got it. And he's brought down. 14 yards through the air, caught the D off guard on third and one. They're going to look to throw toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. Down this close to the goal line, first down. Surprised that wasn't a run? I am, and you know I'm old school. I want to run the ball on first down in this situation because second down, that gives me an option of running play action and maybe throwing it. An incomplete pass on first down. Here's second and goal. They'll try to run this one in. And that'll hurt the average a bit as this time they're able to get him behind the line. Officially, it will go as a one-yard loss, and that's going to lead to a third down. I thought they were onto something with their play call and kind of went reverse a little bit, threw it on first down, then ran it on second down. Not successful either way. What play call do they come up with here on this important third down try? Now they'd really like to make the short field pay off. We'll see if they can, but this is third and goal. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Los Angeles. A great effort there with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Chargers have taken a two-touchdown lead now. Extra point by Mevis is up and good. And that'll make the score 14 to zip. The kick unit on here for the Chargers as they will send this one away. Patterson going to bring this out of the end zone. 
And his guys will get the football right at the 20 yard line. At their own 20 yard line. The Texans offense ready to go here for their next drive. And it's been a miserable start for them offensively, obviously. Two drives, two interceptions. And this is where you have to know your quarterback and know how you actually have to reach him. Do you do it with a little bit of humor? Maybe you break the ice a little bit like, hey, didn't we practice in that color jersey all the way, not the one that you're throwing it to? Or maybe you have to be stern with him. But whatever it's going to take to get the message, it has to be done. He's putting the game in jeopardy. Second and nine now from the 21. Now Prescott. He'll get this out to the flat for ETN. And he'll be corralled right around the 34. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. To throw is Prescott. To the sideline, and wow, what a catch. Doesn't get a lot out of it, but he is able to keep the feet in bounds. Let's just make this one simple. Could he be any more open than he was on that play? Yeah, they lost him going to the outside. Hard to believe because you go through your accounting on each and every defensive snap. Who's got who? What, what defense you're in? That was totally a blown coverage. Line of scrimmage, the 36 on second and eight. Now Prescott. Going right back to Fan. That'll go for a gain of seven. And now one yard to go on third down. Looking to throw. Prescott. Chargers able to get the pressure and bring him down. Now Prescott on fourth down. And this is caught. He hits more. And he is going to have a Texans first down as this defense cannot come up with a play that they need. In fact, they surrender a big chunk, 17 yards there on fourth down. Meanwhile, Dax throw into the hands of Fan. And he'll be tackled on the other side of midfield at the 46-yard line. Looking to throw again on second down. Prescott, he's going to look deep down the field. And that's going to be incomplete. Good effort there, trying to take a shot, but it's third down. The scoreboard tells the story for him a little bit bleak, and while it's not quite desperation time yet, it's definitely getting close, but the defense reads the scoreboard as well. They're going to back up and make them really earn it. They'll break the huddle and come up on the ninth play of this drive, needing five yards on third down. Prescott being chased out left. On the sideline, did he keep his feet in bounds? They say yes. Great job, both feet in, first down. Give him 22 there on the third down conversion. Now that's all about making something happen as a quarterback because instead of forcing something on third down, how about him buying some time outside of the pocket, waiting for someone to come open, and when he did, he put it on him for a big play and a first down. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. Throwing, Prescott. Throwing the out route and he connects with Fan. And they're gonna get this down inside the 15. Here's a first and 10 at the 14 yard line. From the red zone now, Prescott. And it's incomplete. Boy, he doesn't drop many like that one. Second down. We know it's not an easy job to go out and catch passes when people are trying to tackle you and knock the ball away. But the bottom line is, that's a pass he's got to have and a pass he should have caught. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. Here's Prescott. And this time he's got the hookup. It's complete. And so close, he gets it to the one. Out of bounds right there. The pickup goes for 13 and sets him up first and goal. And they'll run with ETN. And a reinforced. 
reinforcements come in as they're going to stop him behind the line. Nothing doing there as the 13th play of the drive proves to be unlucky. From back at the four, here's second and goal. One more time with ETN. And he's maybe going to get this back to the four, but that's about all. No gain on the play there. They're going to need to come up with something better here on third and goal. Big play coming here. It's third and goal. Run of the jet sweep as Prescott bats it forward. Charger drive about to get going. And with a 14-0 lead, they may just try to get this to the locker room. They'll come out throwing here on first down. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back complete. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. The Chargers going to signal for the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 25 seconds to go here in half number one. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. He'll look to throw. Oh, that's into a double team, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Andre Sisko. This defense had three interceptions last week. They're on pace for more than that here, two in the first half. Do not adjust your set. This is not instant replay. <laughs> this is a defense that is locked in. They're essentially running the routes for the receivers and turning them into the receivers themselves, aren't they? I mean, it is amazing what I'm seeing because the reactions of those guys back on the back seven, phenomenal. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Well, this is a half where not just the coverage, but the entire defense is setting the tone in this game. After the incomplete pass here now is second and 10. Prescott to throw it. Completes it to Fant on the right side. Now the Texans will burn the first of their timeouts as they'll stop the clock with 12 seconds to go in this first half. Let's not quibble about the game there on second down. That was a positive play because that was a take what you can guess situation. Got out to the tight end. Now there's a much better opportunity to convert on third down. On third and one, here's Prescott. And incomplete on the deep ball. Not much going on this drive. Looks like they're going to have to punt it away, CD. And right now, I know a lot of their fans are screaming for the OC to change things up, get away from what he's been calling. Sometimes you just need better execution of the plays that have been called. complete. Now whistles and a timeout with three seconds left in the first half. So three seconds here remain in the half on as the field goal unit to see about getting three points. They spot it on the midfield stripe so it is a 60 yard attempt here and his kick is absolutely perfect and that will do it for this first half. So we have reached halftime here in an 11-point contest as we send you to Orlando to check in with Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach? Welcome back 
Charles and I settled into the booth ready for quarter number three. The Texans down on the scoreboard, but they do get the first crack here as we are back underway in the second half. From his end zone, here comes Patterson. And tackled at the 21-yard line, so a net negative there of four yards. The Texans offense ready to go here for their next drive. Charles, it'll be interesting to see what adjustments this offense made in the locker room. Haven't really been able to get anything going offensively, virtually nothing in the ground attack either. So certainly something has to change here in quarter three. And I'm pretty sure their friends from the defensive side of the ball told them exactly that because those guys, the stop troops, they've been playing pretty well. They've kept them around in this game. Now they've got some time. The running game struggled in the first half. Opposition knows how to focus on defending the pass here. They've got to re-energize that ground game and maybe open things up for a comeback here in this half. A first down there on a pick up to 25. But give them credit for a good read right there because they read the man coverage on the right side and sent the tight end a few steps down the field and then angled it to the left on a crossing route. And he was able to get enough separation on this play to turn it into a nice game. And he's going to get across midfield and into Charger territory. The previous run, good for nine. Here's second and a yard. Another tilt for ETM. And they're able to swarm him behind the line, and his rough night continues. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Prescott now from the 50. Locates ETN along the sideline. And he's brought to the ground with another first down at the Chargers 32-yard line. A handoff running left is ETN. And it's been like this all night long. Nowhere to run as they stop him behind the line. On second and 15 now, Prescott. He's going to hit his man out of the backfield, complete. And he's brought to the ground with another first down at the Chargers' 12-yard line. Still in search of their first touchdown of the game, but they're on the move. First and 10. They'll try the left side with ETN. And he'll be dropped at about the 11 after only a yard. Second and nine, Prescott. He'll find ETN out of the backfield. Touchdown, Texans! Travis ETN with a lucky number 13 touchdowns now on the year. And the Texans have cut it back within a score. So here now is Prescott as his guys will go for the two-point conversion. They'll look to throw. This is caught. Was he in? Yes. Two points. I guess the coach looked at the two-point cheat sheet, said go for it, get it to a three-point game, and they did it. Yeah, and sometimes you just throw out time of game. You don't worry about that. There's just a feel sometimes in making that call, and he felt good about what he had for a two-point conversion, and now they're only down three and feeling great about themselves. And some good special teams coverage as they bring him down just outside of the 15. The Charger drive about to get going. And maybe some renewed pressure on this unit following the touchdown a moment ago. It's back to a one-score game. And because of that pressure, because it's now a one-score game, they know this is where you need to slow the momentum change because otherwise that could overrun your team. you got to be careful right here. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. And they'll give him another shot here on the ground. And he'll get this up to about the 40. Tackle is made by Cameron Jordan. 
Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time, and making it work. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. Ben Mason, the intended target, and it's third and five. The coverage was good, but I just wonder if they absolutely fooled the quarterback on that play. I think he was expecting something else. Ended up with nowhere to throw the football successfully. They come up now, third and five, following the incomplete pass. Pass for 11, pass for 11. Check mash, check mash. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. He's going to loft one deep left side here. And unable to connect, incomplete. Well, give them credit, they took their shot, but it's going to bring up fourth down. And that's a really good job there defensively. They went into this possession knowing that they needed to get a stop. They're in a tight ball game, and they got it done. Great work to force the three and out. Got the football right back for their offense. They've got to go to the sidelines feeling pretty good about themselves and encouraging their offensive mates to get some points. They'll try and throw for it here. He completes that to Garrett Wilson. And he is going to have the Chargers first down on a well-designed play there. That gets him 16 to move the chains. And the Chargers first down. First down. And they'll run on the inside handoff. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. Oh, there's plenty of traffic waiting for him up the middle. But give him credit, he tried barreling through anyway. They're fortunate to get a yard out of that one. Second and nine from the 44. 19 tight, 19 tight. And here's a handoff out of the gun. And for one of the first times all night, he is going to go nowhere as they bury him behind the line. This will be a loss of three, and now a much tougher third down looming. We'll see what they have drawn up here. A little bit behind the line, 12 yards needed to gain a first down. Out to the right here to Wilson. And boy, he is very close to a first down, but from where they're spotting that football, he's going to be a footer so short. Looking to throw. He lets this one fly toward the back of the end zone. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. The fourth down play doesn't work for the Chargers. And this Texans defense stands tall. The Texans offense ready to go here for their next drive. The last time out, they had to march almost the full length of the field for their touchdown. So here, much easier, Charles, with this better starting field position. I love your sarcasm, but I love even more your observation because, look, what they did last time out, now with a shorter field, they should have a lot of confidence in up more points up on the board. Even in today's NFL, when we think of the tight end position now as really a glorified wide receiver, we're still asking a lot of those guys. They have to block as well, and every now and then, they don't come down with the football. Throw left side complete. That's more. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. A first down throw for Prescott. And that nearly a turnover, but it's incomplete. Oh, fortunate to retain possession there, and it's second down. I know that interception was dropped, and it would have been their third of the game, and I will guarantee you, in the huddle, on the bench, all the defensive guys have been talking about is, we've got this guy right where we want him. Who's going to get the next one? It almost becomes a challenge, and they've missed a golden opportunity. He's going to let this go. Back of the end zone. Back of the end zone, could he get his feet down? No, it's incomplete. I usually hesitate when I say a guy's got world-class speed, but this guy might. So let's fire the starter's pistol, let's go. If you've got him, you've got to try and use him. A lot of anticipation with the ball in the air, but no, incomplete. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and 10. They'll throw again. Prescott. 
Open man there is Patterson complete. And he's taken down, but not before reaching the 10-yard line. One quarter remains here on a Sunday night. Only way to get the lead here, of course, with a touchdown. And that's what they're gunning for on first and goal. A give, it's ETN off the option. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. They'll say no gain on the play, and it'll be second and goal. Well, if you look where that play starts, O-line versus D-line, that was a battle won by the D-line. Yeah, and oftentimes it's won by quickness off the ball. Who can handle the guy across from them best? On that play, the defensive line did exactly that. And here's another tackle made at the line. So they're converging well on the football now. No gain on that one as it brings up a third and ten. Here's Prescott. And got his man. It's caught. Touchdown, Houston. From ten yards out. And the Texans have taken a fourth quarter lead. Extra point right down the middle. And that will make this a four-point game. Out is the Texans kick team as they'll send this one away. And this will be brought out to the 25 as Taylor elects to not return it. The Charger drive about to get going. The pressure is on now. They're being shut out here in the second half after a decent first half offensively. And they need their best drive of the game right here. He'll be dropped after a gain of about six across the 30 to the 31. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. They're tackling them almost on the spot. That means they have to run extra plays, harder to move it. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. That one good for 13 and a Charger first. They'll look to throw now on first down. And for a third time tonight, he's intercepted. Picked off by Andre Sisko. Boy, what a turnaround. They exited the lockers with a nice lead, and now they're all of this. What's happened? So when you start to write your novel, you'll start out with, it was a tale of two halves, won't you? Well, hey, but I'm a bad writer. <laughs> I don't know exactly what happened, because sometimes teams can go in with a lead and get too comfortable, too relaxed, and a couple of things go wrong, and it's hard to get back that good feeling. The Texans offense ready to go here for their next drive. Another important fourth quarter series coming up. That last INT helping to maintain their slim advantage. Following the interception, here's Prescott. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. I think he had to unload that one before he wanted to. He was right up in his grill. I think he was a dentist there without a license, don't you? <laughs> Just not enough time for the play to develop. Just lucky it wasn't a fumble, really. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Out of the gun. Here's Prescott. Look at right sideline. That's complete. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 19 yards to pick up there. Move the chains. And these guys, sir, they're not hiding what their intention is. They're absolutely showing it. They're definitely not going to sit on this lead here in the fourth quarter. On first and ten, it's ETN. And he'll be taken down just shy of midfield. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. All right, that's a decent game there, but it hasn't been his best game overall. So I wonder what the mindset is of his team. Do they want him to handle the football and try and close this game out? Or are they going to make an alternative plan and maybe go in a different direction? I think they need him, and this is his time to shine. 
And he'll be brought down at the 45-yard line. Consecutive runs of six yards gives him a first and 10. Well, it is our business to analyze what we saw out there. And on that play, I saw a defense staying in base, not taking a chance, not blitzing in a situation where they absolutely need the football back. That's either a case of overthinking it or not thinking it through. If you do blitz, do you have to be careful about where you're coming from or are you just coming from all angles? You have to be careful about where you're coming from, obviously, but at this stage, you have to take a few chances as well. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. On the counter, ETN. And some room to maneuver. And yeah, maybe a little over pursuit there as he's able to take this down to the 25 yard line. A big one there for the Texans, 18 yards. I have to chuckle to myself a little bit, Brandon, because right now I could be in that huddle with that offensive line. I know exactly what they're saying. If you call a pass play here, we're going to call a timeout. Run the football. <laughs> We've got control of this thing. Get in behind us and let's go. Their time to shine. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. And not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and ten. They'll try to throw now. Prescott. They'll get this out to the flat for ETN. And he'll be marked down right at the 15-yard line. Well, they picked up a little bit of yardage there, and now, in this situation, should be in no hurry to run a play really fast. Let the clock wind down. Line of scrimmage, the 15. It's first and 10. Off the option, here's ETN. And he'll fight his way down right around the 12. A gain of three, second down. I like a guy who understands the situation. I also like a guy who you look at him and you say, that looks like a guy who knows the coach is going to say, guess what? You drop this one, you'll be carrying around the training facility for an entire week. <laughs> Maybe flashback to high school or college, carrying it around campus, right? Maybe the old gauntlet drill, right? Anyone get the ball out while he's, while he's sitting in class and bring it back to the coach? He's in big trouble. And he'll be taken down here at about the 11. Just a one-yard pickup there, and it's going to make it third down at six. I like that run right there, partner. Not the flashiest run, not the one that's going to break for big yards, but he understands the situation. And taking care of the football, paramount, and he got it done. Nursing that slim lead, you're exactly right. Hold on to that ball. Well, that second half, Charles, a little bit different from the first. Not only did we...